You don't want to help? Go on. Good afternoon from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Friday. It's 38 degrees. Uh, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And where have I been? Oh my goodness, I can't even begin to tell you, uh, working every minute of every day that I can, um, pretty much 4.30 to 10.30 every night, a couple hours during the day, uh, holidays, all I wanted to do was sleep, and so that was nice to sleep on the holidays. I did make it over to Simple Life Reclaimed and Country Road Cure on New Year's Eve, uh, that was a fun time and a really, really needed time uh, yeah I've been working non-stop I had one side project come up and led to another one led to another one led to another one and I have no extra time because yeah I had to, uh, uh, I kind of been digging my there's just so much stuff has happened I've been digging myself out of a hole and that's uh, unexpected expense comes up and yeah, then I don't have the money to really move, and then another unexpected expense, and and I lose my uh, cushion, and then another unexpected expense, and so and at the same time I've got an opportunity to, you know, make up for those unexpected events, and yeah, and just crazy things that you wouldn't need. I mean, I had to hire a lawyer for something. Not that I did, something somebody did to me a couple of years ago and and I got involved in that and then there's a subpoena to provide testimony and information and when that happens you got a lawyer up, oh, I can't even get into this. See that's why you got to hire a lawyer because they got to tell you, well, well yeah don't say this, sometimes you can say something, yeah yeah see that's anyway. So it has been absolutely crazy, and I haven't been making videos. Um, it's getting a little bit less crazy now. I think I've dug myself out of the hole that I was in, but that only gets me back to even. So now i got to start making YouTube videos again. And I'm not, yeah, I haven't moved. I haven't done anything towards moving. I haven't been able to. And right now, Boss Hog is just not reliable. So that's my next thing coming up. Oh, dudes, it's just been one thing after another. Uh, <laughs> so, here's uh, chicken stuff. You already saw the chicken stuff. Here's more chicken stuff. And I will hopefully be doing two, three videos a week coming up. I have no idea when I'm moving. I have no move date. I have no uh, resources to do that at this time. Uh, although I need to because one of the things I need to make I gotta start hatching baby chicks and yeah it's just all nuts and it is what it is but all right uh, hopefully I'll be around more on videos and I wish I could tell you I'm making forward progress but nope I went backwards for a while and I'm trying to get back to get back to the level playing field and then we'll go from there and all right thanks for watching take it easy everybody
Fifi, you were rolling around in the hay, weren't you? Yes, you were. I can tell.
Fifi, did you just chase Bob up that tree? What are you doing in the tree, Bob? Wow. What are you doing in the peach tree, Bob?
Good morning, Grumpy. It's not even 40 degrees, Grumpy. You got supervisor duties today? Because Bob and Fifi are inside sleeping. You don't mind this cold weather. You're an Indiana cat. That's where you grew up. All right, Grumpy. I'm almost done. I only got two more waters left, but thanks for supervising.
supposed to freeze again tonight, so my routine right before dark is to uh, get these one gallon waterers ready. Because in the morning I have to get the water from my kitchen sink inside. So I can uh, fill up a gallon jug in there, bring it out here, and uh, they've got a gallon of water to start them off until it usually warms up in the afternoon and that's when their big waterers will be thawed out and uh but these get them going first thing in the morning so that's extra work for me when it freezes overnight and it didn't even thaw out all the way today there's still some ice in there yeah because i don't think it got over 40 degrees today but yeah so the big ones they usually well see there's still enough water in there but then i got that a uh, gallon one that, and that one I had to refill this afternoon so yep the extra the extra work you guys cost me I tell ya no it's not your fault it's just cold in winter at least it's not you know two feet of snow on the ground these are some beautiful um, it's a blue copper marons pull it in front and a black one in back and that's a black copper marons cockerel they are due to start laying any day now and if you look at her comb, it's getting nice and red. And so that's usually an indicator they're getting start, getting ready to start laying. But I, I won't expect them to lay. Because usually, you know, these are the shortest days of the year here in uh, December, early January. And so uh, you expect when the daylight gets longer um, is when they'll start laying. I love this flock. Are you my favorite flock? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. You're all going to get dispersed into other flocks here pretty soon, though. But yeah, nice. It's kind of a darker blue and it's kind of a lighter blue. And that's a whiting true blue. It's a different breed. He's a whiting true blue cockerel. Yeah, that's a uh, Buffy and uh, Private Benjamin's daughter. All right. Oh. There's bread too for it, sourdough. 